So we started a series last week on creating your first real estate deal and what you have to do in order to have success and have the best possible deal that can come from that. Well, sure enough, today we're talking about your criteria. What is your criteria? What are you going to focus on? Now there's many things to focus on in real estate. That's one of the beauties of real estate is there's so many things you can do. You can focus on single family homes, duplexes, quadruplexes, multifamily properties. You can com commercial properties, land. There's just so many things in real estate that you can focus on. Now, if you're like me, you like income producing property, properties that are going to produce income every month, month after month. Well, land doesn't do that. And developing property does not do that. Building homes does not do that. But in our world, when you purchase a property that's already existing and you can put one of your clients into that property, well, now you have hit Nirvana and now you've hit the great opportunity that does exist with real estate. So we're so pleased that we have the uh, chance to share with you that ideas of cri criteria because criteria is several things. The criteria of the types of property you're going to buy, as well as the location that you're going to buy it. Well, another criteria can be, and one of the things I teach is to build your target market within five miles of where you live. So literally for most people, depending on the population of your area, there's plenty of deals that can happen right in a geographic area. So all we need is enough population and definitely there's things that are repeating themselves throughout that community. There's people that are passing away. There's people that are getting married. There's people that are moving away. There's new babies being born. There's breakups, breakdowns, move out. There's so many different things that occur within a community. And every time one of those things occurs, it's a possibility that a home can be bought or a home can be sold. So what I advise you to do is literally to target a market and do all your marketing inside that target. Now we're going to be covering a lot of detail on that this coming um, Saturday. In fact, I have a wealth builder workshop coming up and what I want you to know about what we're doing is that we are approaching real estate from a different point of view. So when a traditional real estate investor is looking at a real estate deal, well, they're looking at it with a point of view of, okay, I've got to go find a property. And then once I find that property, then I've got to go find a contractor. And then once I find the contractor, I'm going to get the job done sooner or later. And in the meantime, earning zero income off of it. And then the next thing that occurs is now that I've got my property and I've got it all fixed up. Now I have to market that property to find my buyer or my rent. Well, our, approach completely turns that flips the script, so to speak. It flips the script, looks at things from a completely different point of view. Where is the buyer? Let's find a buyer. Let's find a buyer when? First, let's not only find a buyer first, let's find a lot of buyers. In fact, let's create an inventory of buyers. And when we create that inventory, they have some of the down payment, or all of the down payment, or they're willing to do some work in exchange for some credits towards the necessary down payment. So all of that to say that first thing we do is turn on our marketing machine. We bring those customers in, we vet them, we determine exactly where they're at financially, how much money they have to work with, how much they can afford on a monthly basis. And then we go find a property for them. A, in inventory or B, a whole new property that we have is not in inventory yet. And C, our buyer can actually help us find the property that they want. So there's a lot of different options. Now I'm going to be going deeper into this, but the point of today was to say, 
there are certain things you can do in building your criteria. So that is, you know, what type of property you're going to focus on a, what location you're going to focus on B and then what method you're going to focus on. So like I say, once you identify those things, well, the, the world is your oyster. Now I want to, I want you to keep in mind criteria. I want you to keep in mind that one of the things we love to do is to give our customer the opportunity to have what they want. So I call it a customer driven company, a customer driven company. So you may be thinking, got to go find a house. And I'm thinking, got to go find a customer. That's the only thing that matters to me. Why? Because my customer may say, you know what? All I want is a one bedroom, one bath condo. And I'm saying, man, I can make good guilt on a one bedroom, one bath condo because there's, there's not a lot of buyers for them out there. So I can buy them really well priced. And my customer based upon their income and their down payment, is going to be very happy to pay our price for that. So we can make a nice spread on it. Well, I would have never bought that one bedroom, one bath condo, but I didn't have that customer for it. So think the same way. What does your customer want? Do they want a three bedroom, a four bedroom, a five bedroom? What do they need? And then let's go fill that need. So hopefully this has been valuable to you to think to yourself, what is your criteria?